Hey friends and happy New Year's. Tonight we are spending New Year's Eve here at Epcot. There's going to be dance parties all around World Showcase and a brand new New Year's Eve fireworks show that's going to happen at midnight to help us bring in 2022. I am so excited. Anywho's, let's go do this. Epcot on New Year's Eve is one of my favorite things to do and I'm so happy that most of the festivities are back this year. I'm so excited to see a new fireworks show because normally the New Year's Eve fireworks show had to do with illuminations but now we have Harmonious. Last night Magic Kingdom did their New Year's fireworks a day early so they did it last night and then tonight so a lot of people went to go see the fireworks at Magic Kingdom yesterday and they're going to come to Epcot tonight. I prefer Epcot on New Year's Eve. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I know Magic Kingdom's really special, but let me know in the comments, are you more Epcot for New Year's Eve or Magic Kingdom for New Year's Eve? Either way, it doesn't matter. It's still just an honor to be able to bring in the New Year here at a Walt Disney World Park. And this is the 50th anniversary New Year, so makes it extra special. It's definitely going to be getting dark out pretty quick. I didn't get to the park until after 5 o'clock tonight because we're going to be here till midnight and it gets like dark around 5 36 o'clock. So I think we're going to head right on back to World Showcase. Before we actually make it to World Showcase, I wanted to stop over here to the Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival so we can say hi to Mickey Mouse and wish him a happy new year. A lot of people don't even know that Mickey Mouse is actually in here meeting and greeting. There he is. Hey friend, happy new year. <laughs> I just literally wanted to come in and say happy new year. <laughs> That's the best, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. This is Mickey 2022. <laughs> I love it. See you later, bye pal. <laughs> Isn't that amazing that Mickey is just back there and there's nobody in line to meet him. Like there was nobody, I walked right in and I was just like, hey pal, happy new year and just walked right out. And I mean, they took a quick photo, but it was still like so awesome. It's definitely going to be a very crowded evening. This is one of the biggest or busiest nights at Walt Disney World. I mean, you can actually rank it up there with 4th of July, Christmas Day, and a lot of people tend to come over to Epcot, like I said before, but look at that sky. It's beautiful. It's going to be a wonderful New Year's Eve. I was really hoping that I could get one of those uh, Mickey like 2022 Happy New Year hats. They were giving them out last year. Well, they did it for 2021, but uh, I see a couple people wearing them, but I don't think they're giving them out in the parks, maybe only at the resort. So we'll have to see, maybe later on they might bring them out and just start handing them out to everybody. They've done it in the years past. Well, I couldn't find one of the 2022 hats, so I ended up buying the 2022 ears, and look at these. I mean, they're not for me. I mean, I might give them to my sister or my mom or a friend, but I wanted to have something for 2022, and uh, this is all they had. I tried to find a t-shirt even, and I think the t-shirts were all sold out, but these are kind of pretty, aren't they? Tonight, Harmonious is, I think, setting off at 6.30. And then I believe New Year in the United Kingdom is at 7 o'clock. And last year, we celebrated New Year's in the United Kingdom at 7 o'clock. So that's something I definitely want to do tonight. The coolest thing about these ears are that they are $22. $22 for the 2022 ears. I think that's really clever. Of course, the Rosen Crown is going to be a popular spot tonight. And they got a line already forming kind of around the building. And it actually is full in there. It's been a while since I've seen like a whole bunch of bodies in there, but there's people in there drinking and standing. Earlier, you might have heard me talking about how they're going to have different parties in all of the countries. And I was saying about the UK, it's all set up and they even have like a queue. And I don't know what the queue is for, but I need to find out. This is so exciting. They're setting up for the silent DJ party. And I wasn't sure if this was coming back this year, but wow. This is going to be good. It, it, open, it opens up at 7 o'clock. So we're definitely going to partake. And look how festive it looks back there. If you guys aren't sure what a silent DJ is, it's when they give you headphones and everybody dances to their own like music and it's silent. Like all the people here is what is in their ears. So it's so much fun and I cannot wait to do it. And at 7 o'clock, we're going to say Happy New Year's to everyone in the United Kingdom. We're definitely going to need to get a drink so that we can participate in the silent DJ. So we're going to wait in line to go into the Rosen Crown. I don't know a better place to start. 
I think I'm gonna get myself a good old harp or a bass. Not too sure. Usually I go with the harp though. Harp's my go-to here at the Rosen Crown. Do any of you guys remember the days where you had to like fight to get a spot at the bar? Like now it's all a sign, so they tell you to like stand right here. But I remember the days where like you used to be like reaching over people and being like, right over here, Apple Teeny, please. <laughs> I got myself a harp and I want to watch Harmonious. It's actually going to start in a couple of seconds, but I do want to be able to be over here in the pavilion at 7 o'clock to say Happy New Year. And then at 7.05 they're opening the silent DJ. So cheers to the new year and I'm so excited to see what other fun things we're going to do tonight. Oh and look at this, it looks like Harmonious is about to start really early. I think this is the earliest Harmonious actually shot off, 6.30. The music hasn't started yet though. That seems a little strange. The music is like not working. Uh oh. I think we're having technical difficulties here. Another thing that I want to point out to you guys, if you plan on drinking like a lot, and that's what New Year's Eve is basically all about, know that the Uber for like the pickup Uber is very backed up. So don't wait until like midnight to actually order an Uber. Try, try to have one like already scheduled and that way it's going to be there for you and be there on time. Or use Disney bus transportation to go to a different spot and pick up an Uber from there. Because when picking up an Uber here at Epcot, it is super busy, especially tonight. So if you use transportation to take you somewhere else, you're going to be able to use in that as like a pickup location. So that's a little pro tip there. Or walk over to like the boardwalk. That's also a good spot, but I think that's going to be busy as well. This is so funny. Nothing is happening. They just shut it off. Woo! <laughs> oh, all right. Due to technical difficulties, this evening's performance of Harmonious has been delayed. We thank you for your patience, and we hope to begin soon. There we go. It's fixed. And now my favorite part. Oh, I'm so excited. I have often dreamed of a far off place where our heroes welcome will be waiting for me. Harmonious is happening right now. They set up all the stuff for the silent DJ, so we're heading over there now. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Silent DJ party, and it's right back here. People are already lining up. They don't want to watch Harmonious. They want to go to the silent DJ. Six more minutes until 2022 in the United Kingdom. Look at this. It's about that time, guys. Who's got the countdown ready? Countdown. We got it. You got the countdown ready? Ten, ten, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Yeah! <laughs> for the firework finale <laughs> I love it it's 2022 in the United Kingdom and the fireworks are going off and this is our first countdown of the night Now everybody's in line getting ready for the DJ party and they got us all queuing up here so we're all excited. Everybody's excited to do a little dance. Here we go. <laughs> everybody's excited. They're dancing before we're even dancing. Oh, I'm with my friend Sarah too. Are you ready? Are you ready for a silent DJ? Always ready for a silent DJ. How's it going, man? Let me give you a quick tutorial. We got the channel switch right here, blue and red, and then the volume control, all right? Uh, all right. Time. When you're done, we got to exit out this way, okay? Thank you. There you go. Party up. Let's get it. Woohoo! 
And look at this back here, it turned into a full party mode. I love it. All right, I don't know if I have to take my hat off, but I'm gonna try to, oh boy. <laughs> I can hear it, I can hear it good. That's right, people. You can hear a little bit here, guys, but I'm gonna put my headphones on and we're gonna enjoy. <laughs> It goes on and on and on and on. Strangers making up and down the boulevard that shadows. Searching in the night. Streetlights, people. The best thing is, is there's no music that you guys can hear, but I hear it all. Shout! 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 Who? Come on now! A little bit softer 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 now! A little bit louder now! A little bit louder now! A little bit louder now! A little louder now! And once you're all done, you just hand them back in right here, and then they sanitize them and get ready for the next batch. That is so awesome. I'm so happy that this is back. And look at all the happy people. It seems so quiet over here. I wonder if I was shouting at the camera, but like, it is so fun. I was shouting? You heard me? <laughs> People in the video are not going to know what you're doing. I was shouting? <laughs> I loved it though. I think we're gonna actually make our way to different like uh, countries or pavilions. I know Italy's doing a grand like big DJ party and then China looks like it's pretty poppin'. So we're gonna make our full like lap around but also like get ourselves all ready for the fireworks at midnight. And we got a little time before that so we're gonna spread it out and just kind of enjoy. Look at how many people are holding up spots for the New Year's Eve fireworks and I think we've got like four hours to go maybe five what time is it eight o'clock so nine ten eleven twelve holy moly but this is a good spot watching it here in japan it doesn't really matter because they're going to shoot the fireworks all around world showcase it's not just in the center of world showcase lagoon it's literally from every country and look it says new year's eve on the barges we're making our way around. America has her own DJ dance party. So we have to check it out. We have to stop in. Look at this. Wow. Hey! Happy New Year! <laughs> the American Pavilion seems like a lot of fun, but I know that all the other countries are actually having other things, so I think we're gonna move along. Now we're coming up on Italy, and look at this. Holy moly, now this seems like where the biggest dance party is. I can see this from the other side of World Showcase Lagoon. That and also China looks like it's a good time. So I can't wait to explore a little bit in here. Oh my lord. Like it is so much like craziness dancing and it's funny because it's the Italy pavilion, you know? So I kind of like decided to like leave that area even though it's a fun time but there is a lot more to do and I'm trying not to drink a lot too because I have to make this video and have it ready for you guys tomorrow morning and if we're gonna be here till midnight tonight then I'm gonna probably be up till like 6 in the morning. So like, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to drink too much and I do have a designated driver. I 
even bring my car here, but I still want to be able to stay up and edit. So we're gonna spread out our fun and just keep moving along. And it is actually super busy here. Like honestly, World Showcase has a lot of room to actually be spread out, but this is probably the busiest I've seen World Showcase. And there's a lot of people. My friend Sarah actually hopped in line to go to the restroom, and the line uh, for the ladies' restroom is like almost longer than some of the attractions. Also, look at the pyro over in China. That's where we're gonna be heading next. I think we're gonna move along to China, and they have like pyro. Like, honestly, I never thought it was gonna be this popping, you know what I mean, compared to the years past. I thought they were gonna, like, not have as much, but they're going full blown for 2022. Holy moly. Look at that dragon. <laughs> It looks like here in the China Pavilion, they not only have their own dance party, but they have like a special New Year's Eve like bar area and they have specialty cocktails. So I think we're going to get one. Take a look at that. Right now there is no festivals happening. Like they have festival of the holidays, but this is just for New Year's Eve it looks like. And they have a fireworks drink and a honey hibiscus tea. I think I'm going to get the honey hibiscus tea. Fireworks. That's the fireworks? Yeah. Oh boy. And this is the hibiscus? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, she's coming back for some Don Q right here. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. We're going to try it. The honey hibiscus tea. And that's the fireworks. Fireworks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now we're going to take our drink on in to the dance party. Look at this, the dragon's there, and we're gonna get some pyro. <laughs> oh boy! Somebody make some noise! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think China is like 10 times crazier than Italy. Like it is so fun in there. The dragon is like breathing like smoke and then they have the fire and the pyro. So, so fun. A lot of people aren't wearing their masks and I kind of keep to the outer circle. I don't go inside like the main area there, but it was nice to see a lot of other people like Deb was there and it was just like, it's a fun atmosphere. But I think like I said, we're gonna just keep moving along and trying to explore and enjoy everything that Epcot has to offer for New Year's. We're gonna keep moving along here. It also looks like there's a Congo line forming as we uh, walk through World Showcase here. I also like how they have people directing the traffic. Oh, but there's a Congo line ahead of us. I feel like I need to get in on that. All right, so now it is just about uh, like 10, 16. So uh, under two hours, under two hours until 2022. And I'm excited. I think we might actually make our way back around to the silent disco. Or I call it a silent disco, but it's a silent DJ. And then also maybe we'll uh, scope out a spot to watch the fireworks because that's gonna be a tough thing. There's people already lined up all around World Showcase Lagoon and they've been like that for hours. So I don't think we're gonna find a good spot last minute, but I mean, we're still gonna be able to enjoy it. Like it's pretty big enough that wherever you're standing, you're gonna be able to see the fireworks. Go ahead, get in there, yeah! Woo! Thank you! I'm gonna have to, I gotta step in, hold on. He's going in, go get it! Oh. And Happy New Year! No! Yes! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> America.
miracle has just happened. Somebody actually was walking around with the 2022 hat and they said, would you like one? And I said, yes, I would. Look at that. I got a hat finally. And here is my friend John who actually gave me my 2022 hat. Yes, thank you so much. I feel really honored to be on your channel tonight. Oh, thank you, John. Are you having a great new year? Uh-huh, yeah. Are you ready to do some silent disco? Uh -huh. or, or silent DJ. I keep calling it a disco, but it's a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, cheers, my friend. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, cheers. <laughs> hey, that's mine. Okay, this is yours. Now we're back to the silent disco. Cheers. Everybody just have a good time. The silent DJ is so much fun, but now it's almost time for 2022, and we're gonna watch the fireworks, and we got a nice little spot here next to the Rosen Crown, and we've got some sparkling wine so that we can cheers to the New Year's, and I'm so excited. This is it, this is it. It is just 12 minutes till midnight, 12 minutes to go, and I am so excited. I wish that the, uh, like uh, viewing area for the Rosen Crown was open, but it's not open right now. Nobody's actually sitting over there, so we got the next best spot right here. And we can't really see the other countries over on this side, but at least we get to see this part of uh, World Showcase. <laughs> this is a great New Year's Eve display right here on a trash can. You know, it's doing its best. Yep, some Prosecco, and that is the way to cheers to the New Year's. You can see they're shooting off the fireworks in Japan. So they're going to be shooting off the fireworks like by the time that it actually turned 2022. Now it's China. Oh, now it's China.
barely five hours ago, our friends in Morocco and the United Kingdom. really intense <laughs> and with that I think we are done here happy new year happy 2022 the park is still open for another hour now I'm probably not gonna stick around because like I said I want to make sure that I can edit this video and have it out for you guys tomorrow but what a fantastic night and I'm so happy for 2022 I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's Eve and I hope you guys are having a wonderful 2020 in the future and I also hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye